Hey everyone, Kerry Canole here, and today we're going to learn about the template library within High Level. So with that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, welcome back. So in this video, I want to go through the next menu item here, which is a template library. It says new as well. I wanted to show you when you click on that, it actually takes you a page where you kind of lose a little bit of where you were, right? So if you want to get back to where you were, just click this back button. But this is brand new for the most part. So I'm walking through this kind of without any real knowledge behind it. I just want to kind of share with you what it looks like currently um, while I shoot this video and what kind of things you have access to in here. So it defaults to funnels, but we have websites, emails, social planner, forms, and surveys, which is very cool. And of course, we have some filters here so we can filter things out if we want to. Uh, then we have my template. So if I have any templates, they'll be listed here. So if I click on that, let's see, I don't have any funnels in here, probably because I haven't uploaded anything to the template library for funnels. Websites, I it goes back to default on all templates when I click on that. If I click on my templates, I have nothing. Emails, again, defaults to all templates. Uh, then if I click on system templates, it shows me some stuff in here. Uh, but I didn't create any of these. These are just system templates, I guess. My templates, I have none. Social planner, here's some different stuff. I haven't used any of this, uh, but they do have some niche specific uh, image packs, it looks like in here. I don't know even know how many images are in each one of these. Um, so we can look at them. We can look at the medical spa. Let's see if we hit the preview button, what happens. So it gives you 25 posts, which is cool. And they're nice posts, right? But um, there's only 25. So that's a little bit of an issue for me. If there was a lot more, I'd be more excited about it. Uh, I offer 180 or 365 per niche, that sort of thing, so that they can be, um, there's a bigger variety. It can be reposted, recycled, etc. Then under forms, I have none under my templates. And under surveys, my templates, I have none. So I have nothing uploaded to to the template library. However, if I did create anything, I can upload it to the template library and it would show up here. Um, and then I think it can be shared publicly when it's in here under my templates for everyone to use, I believe. Uh, then we have different categories, of course. We have the different niches or verticals as they like to refer to them as. And we have the tags and you can click on any of the tags to get to stuff, right? So if I wanted to click on something for real estate, I'd click on it it's still on my templates because it didn't default back to all but if I click on all and then I click on real estate let's click on real estate I am on real estate but I'm on surveys too so it's just going to show me a couple of the surveys for real estate now if I click on forms is going to stay connected to nope it defaults back without real estate so I'd have to click on real estate again and now I can see all the forms that were created for real estate that I could use if I want to do social planner I could do the same thing show more click on real estate and it should show me the real estate images they have for me under emails same deal show more click on real estate and you can see the emails that were created for real estate and if you want to use them you can import them directly into your sub account same with websites let's click on that let's click on real estate see what they have in websites so they have some websites there you could utilize if you want to and then of course with funnels let's click on that one and let's click on show more and let's click on real estate as well so we have these funnels that you could import directly into your account and if you click load more there might be a few more that you can see i don't know how many there are in this particular case that is all of them there are quite a few and you can then grab one and add it to your account so if we wanted to use this one maybe we'll click on it and then after we click on it, we can kind of get a little better view of what it looks like, I guess. And it says prerequisites for this template, form integration, calendar integration. Cool. But I'm not certain how you would import it directly into your account. So I am not sure. It is new, so they may be still working on a few things. But maybe it's already available another way but i don't see a button to import any of this into the account itself yet but i just wanted to show you the template library overall this is like i said brand new 
Um, they've been adding to it. There's a ton of stuff. You can add your own stuff, which is cool. And um, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. And with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. and We'll see you real soon. Take care.